one powerful, subtle, and really easy to use technique, which can help you to signal yourself as a potential romantic interest, can make it easier for you to judge where he's at and can help you to exude that really attractive feminine energy. So often something I've noticed when I'm coaching women and something you may be aware of yourself is that your ability to really carry a conversation. Maybe it's because of your, you're always leading meetings at work, you're actively pitching, you do something that's client facing, you're very sociable, you're extroverted, you're confident. Perhaps you are really, really comfortable chatting. And maybe because you're so comfortable chatting, when you're on a date, you're kind of, pre, you can become preoccupied with how do I make this conversation non-awkward? Do you perhaps sometimes default into more of your work persona where you're gregariously chatting, but you're not really interacting with him in a way which creates a romantic vibe or signals romantic potential? So here's the hack. Instead of being in a rush to carry that conversation, to really like make sure there's no awkward sciences, to make it all okay for everybody. I want you to focus instead on just being. So what do I mean by just being? I mean, instead of continually needing to fill the space or drive the conversation, I literally want you to um, practice taking a back seat in the conversation. And this shouldn't feel like you are being silenced or that you have nothing to say. It should actually feel like you can actually just relax for a second and that you're not being judged and that everything's not gonna fall apart if you're not making 110% effort. Because remember, 50% of the effort should be coming from him. So can you take a deep breath, just relax your body language, make good eye contact, smile, and just be in a conversation. Whilst this sounds incredibly simple, it actually works on a bunch of different levels to set a more romantic tone in the conversation. First of all, and you may not be aware of this, men are often communicated to around dating that it's their job to carry the conversation. They have to do the work, they have to drive it forwards. So he probably feels that he really needs to step in and lead and guide that conversation. When he also feels like he's leading and guiding that conversation and you're receptive to it and you're enjoying what he's talking about, Obviously, like everybody likes a good audience, it's gonna make him feel good about himself as well. You're also not taking the role of the performer in the conversation. You're not trying too hard, you're not trying to show him or prove to him that you're smart or funny or interesting. You're just ac accepting that you are all of those things and you are just being. You are also then communicating that you are relaxed and you're comfortable within yourself, which are really attractive qualities. Finally, when you actually take that back seat and you listen to what he's putting into the conversation, often you get a better read on what he's all about. You get to observe and gather up more information and it will help you to form an idea about whether you want to keep speaking to him or connecting with him in this way. So rather than seeing taking a back seat in the conversation as being passive, it is active. You are doing things. You're just doing things in a subtle and feminine way. And it can just be a really nice change up for you to try in a conversation. So again, rather than trying too hard, Next time you're in a potentially romantic conversation, I want you to focus on the process of just being and seeing the difference that it makes. Now, if you are all down to learn about little techniques and practices that you can do to start to really relate to men differently and get in control of your dating life, I'd really encourage you to head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash circle and I've got some very interesting advice for you there.